my feeling about this uh, movie, Birmingham and Rhapsody. I'm holding an event. Um, holding an event tonight for uh, Queen. <laughs> I made the mistake of naming all of the original names of all the members of Queen as the part of the, as the kind of the what their room was a tribute to, not the band Queen. And I probably should have just said the band Queen and just let it be. The thing is, is that ever since this Bohemian Rhapsody came about, everybody and their dog has been like, you know, thinking it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And I've been like, just couldn't, couldn't believe, you know, the whole time that people were, were lapping it up like happy dogs, you know. And, uh, I saw the movie and the thing that kind of bugs me about the movie is, is that it's too perfect. You know, um, it's not, it can't, the story can't be the way it is presented. Um, they must have taken some freedoms with some parts in the story just so that they could, uh, cause it feels, it feels like a Pirates of Silicon Valley type story you know it's like where they don't have a whole lot of information and there are a lot of people there that that could have been there that weren't and people that can't be there anyhow you know you're telling the story of somebody who's no longer alive and in that you have the capacity to in a lot of the people that would be on their side are not there um you know like it's you know, you don't know the real story of this family, you know, you don't know the really the, the, the story of, uh, all the people that, uh, that he betrayed and betrayed him and, you know, all that, all you have to go on is with what the original queen members had, you know, you don't know how much they were family or what, you know, that they'll go along with anything you say, you know. Because they've had to go without Freddy for how long, you know? Ever since the 90s? They're willing to go with anything if they're going to get some, some play out of it. And so there's bound to be in all sorts of things there that they're not communicating. That weren't on in the back, background. So it's it feels like, it feels like to me, like there's things they're not saying. That, they're, that there's because it, it just feels like it's just too correct like you know freddy was on the first night preening around the stage like a like a um like a little hitler you know doing i mean hitler but just a just a really uh uh cocky um leader you know that he was he knew what to do from the very beginning and uh you just don't get the feeling that there was any struggle you know in their success at the very beginning um uh, you you feel like they they were they were at their they were they were successful in their art from the very beginning um you know you just get that feeling that, that how long it took them to get, get together and all that just happened like overnight, you know. Um, it just doesn't feel right. You know, there's something wrong with the story. And so it's so it'll, it will satisfy it will satisfy the the um the needs that people will have to that to feel that it is the correct story. But for somebody who's seen a lot of movies at the stop, it just feels like something that somebody just constructed, you know. It, it feels like the story was constructed um, by other people. It doesn't feel like um, it was really the true story. So there's bound to be all sorts of stuff that they didn't tell you that went into the movie that, you know, it feels like a mile, Michael Moore documentary, you know where Michael Moore is telling you all the stuff that you want to believe and putting it in all format, 
but then he doesn't tell you it doesn't tell you about the things that Michael Moore did to try to make the story uh, fit together nicely or to uh, so people are just so gullible today whenever they are given a story they're so gullible to take things on face value that they just don't bother to even question it you know People choo these days choose to believe what they want to believe. Have you ever noticed that? They don't. Um, they don't question anything. And um, it's because they've had everything fed them ever since they were young. I mean, since since most people are uh, these days that were young, younger than me. Um, everything's been fed them. Um, they're, they don't have any reason to uh, contradict anything. You know? It's just like, you know, Trump, just the idea of Trump. How in the world did that guy even get into power? By telling everybody exactly what they wanted to hear, you know, and them believing whatever it was that he was saying. You know, and whenever somebody like Trump can get in power by doing stuff like that, it says something about your audience, about how easy it is to to uh, manipulate them. I can't be easily manipulated. I'm very hard to manipulate. I'll just say that right up. It's so hard for me to be manipulated that I now believe that the Satan and God are trying to manipulate me and I refuse to be manipulated I'm as in the movie whenever whenever Mercury is saying that uh, um, there's a point in which he just believes that that he refuses to be manipulated by the people around him and I'm at that point I I'm like fuck it I'm going to I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do, regardless of this disease, regardless of whatever, um, whatever condition it in, I'm going to push through and do what my life. And that's the thing that I think is the real, is the real good thing about this movie is the fucking attitude. You know, it, uh, I hope that he had that in him because I can identify with it. And I under identify with it hundred percent. Whenever the everything in the world, and even God and the devil himself, are trying to manipulate you, you say fuck it. I don't care about you fuckers. I'm going to do with this life what I damn well please. I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. You know. And. uh However, go out, you know, and it, I'm going to do it to the point to where they're even going to question themselves, you know, question the kind of individuals they are, you know. I'm going to do it to the point to where I'm going to make the devil think, why is it that you are the way you are? Is the, what's the point of that? And and why do you feel like you have to be that way to the very end? Same with God, you know. The point is, is that in the face of, um, in the face of failure or the potential for everything to end, you know, how are you going to live your life? You know, in the face of death, what, how are you going to live your life? And you have the choice to just sit there and wallow in pain and your fear and all that stuff of what's coming or you have the set you have the ability to turn around and think about it the way i think about it is is that uh um what's the potential that uh i could have been in this situation from the very beginning what's the potential for me to turn such a situation around i can't turn a situation around I am what I am, and it will be to the very end. 
and nobody can can uh, paint the picture the the way they want me to be. I'm going to be what I'm going to be. That's the message, and I think that's the message this movie has to present. I don't think the movie's true. I think that it feels like it's false. It feels like there's some missing there's a missing dialogue there, but there is some true attributes to it. And the true attributes is that the fucking attitude that uh, they have Mer Mercury portraying, that is real. It's 100% real, and I identify with it, and I know exactly what the character is going through. I can identify with that in the movie. If that was him, I, I don't know, but you have to believe that that was the way he was, because you hear that from every F every um, perspective. But who really knew him? Well, uh, the only people you have to go on is the people that were in the band that were around him. And as long as they've been without him, how can you believe them, you know? Especially they're, they're kind of the last, uh, there's the, the last vestige of whatever was in was Queen, was Freddie Mercury's in that band. Nobody's going to tell you. They're never. Nobody's going to say this is the way it was because um, there's a chance that uh, there might be something ugly that the, that uh, if anybody knew that um, it wouldn't people wouldn't uh, think good thoughts about what was. But the thing is, the great thing about Queen 